Trigonometry started from Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem tells us that the square of the largest side is always equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Let's take the first case. I want to divide all of them by one variable. So A, B, C, we have three variables. We can divide it by one variable. So I'm dividing by C squared. Now note that if you have A squared by C squared, you can eventually write that as A by C the whole squared, B by C the whole squared, and C squared upon C squared is simply one. Let's go back to the figure and see what is A upon C. If you look at A, which is the adjacent, and C is the hypotenuse, what do we call that ratio as? Cos. Instead of not writing A upon C, I'll write this as cos. So cos squared theta. We have the angle theta. B upon C. B is the perpendicular. C is the hypotenuse. So perpendicular to hypotenuse or opposite to hypotenuse that is called as sine. So we call this as sine squared theta. We just got the first squared identity for trigonometry that is cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1.